Henry Rollins is probably best known to most of you because of his work with Black Flag. The moment he's concentrating on other projects with the Henry Rollins band and his spoken word tour, so I spoke to him and asked him which one he preferred. I guess music. I get asked that a lot. What do you like doing more, the music or the talking shows? Like, always music, because there's the real release element of it. The talking shows, I couldn't do as many a year as I do with the band just because the nature of the shows, they get really depressing after a while. But uh, yeah, the music. Well, I was in Black Flag for five years, so it's definitely part of me, no problem there. But uh, that's just the thing. Uh, the press has been really, it's been really cool that they don't really talk much about Black Flag. They really want to know about what I'm doing now, which is all right. You know, but every once in a while, you know, the main question is, why did Black Flag break up? And I tell them, you know, me and the guitar players, you know, which is no big deal. No big dramatic trip is just a phone call. But um, otherwise, no, I, people have been really, press-wise, people have been really responsive to what I'm up to now, which is all right. But you know, I have a really bad attitude with all that. If, if people want to interview me, fine. If they don't, fine. If they all they want to know about is Black Flag, fine. I, I really don't care. I'm really there to perform interviews and all that stuff for me is mere fluff. What am I doing here? 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 How would you like it if I went up on stage for an hour and talked about you? Wouldn't you sit there in your seat going like, where does this guy get off talking about me? What the heck does he know about me? Nothing. Well, what if I went up on stage like some other people, singers in punk rock bands who talk about all kinds of stuff they don't know? Like, what if I went up and talked about Ronald Reagan and El Salvador, a guy I never met in a place I've never been to? Okay, would that be a really boring load of on unauthentic garbage yes it would in my opinion so how can i express myself 100 percent honestly with just unadulterated honesty and straightforward expression i can tell you about myself and my life and tell you experiences and maybe you can get something from them that's all i can do i do not endeavor to write songs about clubbing seals i've never clubbed one i've never seen one clubbed i can't do a song about women's rights i'm not a woman you know what i'm saying i i, I can't i can't do anything that i don't know about because it would be lying so the only thing i know about is myself and how i react to things and that's why i will tell you a story about how how i nearly got raped in greece 15 years ago or how my bo my mom's boyfriends used to feel me up okay that that that's what i'll talk about i'm not going to talk about what your problem is okay because i don't know what your problem is and it's not my right to be up on a stage telling other people about someone I don't know. That's the only reason. And that is my art. Dissecting myself, destroying myself, and putting it out on paper, on record, live. It's like the Grey's Anatomy book. I dissect myself in front of other people. And that is the art. That's my idea. That's my concept. That's my approach to my trip. It's self-dissection live in front of people go to the sh go to the see the band it's not rock and roll it's not entertainment it's it's someone having an exorcism and to me that's as honest as i can get <clears throat> and that's why i do exactly what i do and sure i'm self-obsessed absolutely i wake up in the morning i don't think about a vacation i think about the work i want to do and it always involves me I have no answers for people, but I do get a lot of, uh, you know, people going, Henry, I, I don't know what to do. You got to help me. I, that happens all the time. Letters, phone calls, letters from jail, letters from penitentiaries, people writing me from Folsom, uh, people writing me from loony bins, rehab places, halfway houses, uh, runaway places, uh, all kinds of people asking me for answers. I don't have them. Well, what 
I'm trying to get across is something perhaps more immediate. You know, perhaps someone will just leave the, leave the hall just having, just laughing. <laughs> what a jerk. Okay. That's, what, that's, that's why I'm there. So you can get a laugh at me. Or go, yeah, right on. You know, that, no, I don't want people on my side. I don't want them against me. I want them to be on their side. I want you to be on your side. I don't need you on my side. Rollins can take care of Rollins. You just watch yourself. Gun will be lost, it's coming now.